In this demo video, we will introduce you the Vertical Grid Logistic Regression Framework for Privacy Preserving Vertically Partitioned Data Analysis. We name the framework as Vertical, which is developed by the IDASH team in the Department of Biomedical Informatics at UC San Diego. For the big data science, Numerous organizations such as governmental agencies, universities, hospitals, and insurance companies collect various data at large scale or real time for research and business purposes. Healthcare data from different sources can be integrated to gain better insights and deliver highly customizable care to the patients. For example, the P-Scanner Clinical Data Research Network, CDRN, connects data from over 21 million patients in geographically distant institutions to facilitate clinical and comparative effectiveness research. Typically, data analyses are straightforward if the data are collected and deposited in a centralized location, but this is not always practical. A major hurdle lies in transmitting patient data outside each institution due to institutional policies or concerns about privacy. For example, a patient who has EHR data in a hospital and has sequence data at a biobank might only have these records linked through claims data from an insurance company. For example, Insurance company would benefit from computing with EHR data and sequence data for the purposes of providing better services to its customers. The same goal of comparing the effectiveness of treatments is of interest to other institutions so that they can provide better care for their patients. These institutions may want to collaborate and build predictive models for particular outcomes. However, Due to privacy concerns, each institution may want to keep their data on their servers and therefore not share them. In the case of vertically partitioned data, each institution only has a part of the data from the same patient population. Each institution keeps its data locally, but agree to share results from analysis that they perform privately on their data. Therefore, Institutions can use a federated data analysis framework to obtain information on demand, but without sharing patient-level data. Now, let us introduce the Vertical Grid Logistic Regression Framework. In this case, different features of the same population are distributed among different institutions, as shown in different colors. Previously, in the GLOR framework for horizontally distributed data, we solved the problem in the primal form, where only site-wise, local statistic needs to be exchanged. However, for the vertical case, it is infeasible to apply the same idea over the primal form due to the new data paradigm. Luckily, we can found a dual form of the optimization problem for logistic regression in which we can decompose the model update into the summation of site-wise local statistics. Here, we will show you the big picture of dual optimization. Suppose we have a function f of alpha and beta. Given alpha star, we can find a function f of alpha star and beta is equal to the likelihood function l of beta in the primal form. Then, given beta star, we can find f of alpha and beta start is equal to the likelihood function j of alpha in the dual form. More importantly, there is a point to alpha star and beta star, where function f of alpha star and beta star is equal to the minimum of j of alpha and the maximum of l of beta. Therefore, the maximization of the dual form j of alpha is equivalent to the minimization of the primal form l of beta. We can use newton raphson algorithm to solve the optimization problem in primal form, which iteratively updates the initial guess of beta to get successively better approximations 
until the beta converge to the optimal value, such that the beta star maximizes the likelihood function. The newton raphson algorithm can also be applied to the dual form optimization, where we need to compute the first derivative and Hessian matrix of the likelihood function in dual form. After carefully reordering the first derivative and Hessian matrix in the dual form, we can develop a distributed update rule for vertical partition data, where only site-wise local statistics need to be exchanged. Now, we will explain the vertigo algorithm with an example. Suppose we have two sites, where each site has two different features from the same three patients. To compute the first derivative, for i equal to 1 in the first site, we take the inner product between z1 site 1 and zj site 1 for j from 1 to 3. Similarly, for site 2, we can compute the local statistics for i equal to 1 and j from 2 to 3 as follows. Then, we can aggregate the local statistics from sites 1 and 2 to update the global model without sharing patient level data. For the Hessian matrix update, we can also compute and only exchange site wise local statistic. For example, the computation for site 1 is illustrated as follows, which only requires local matrix multiplication. Similarly, for site 2, we can compute the local statistics as follows. Finally, we can aggregate the local statistics from sites 1 and 2 to update the global model without sharing patient level data. We verify the estimation accuracy of vertigo model through experiments. The results present the averaged errors between first 10 model coefficients of vertigo and primal logistic regression. Using four different data sets over 50 trials in a two-site setup, we can see the difference is bounded by 10 to minus 10. This is the end of this demo. Thanks for watching.